It's been about 73 years since we've had a wilderness update, but today marks one of the biggest changes in old school RuneScape history. The wilderness bosses that were introduced way back in 2014 are no more. Callisto, Venonatus, and Vedion have been completely reworked with new mechanics and a much more rewarding drop table. But what's in the drop table? There are three new upgrades to the three revenant weapons already in game. The Skull of Vedion can upgrade the Thamarin Scepter to an Accursed Scepter, the Fangs of Venonatus upgrade the Crossbow to a Webweaver Bow, and the Claws of Callisto make the Vigorous Chain Mace to a Yurseen Chain Mace. But the big one that myself and every other PKer has their eyes on is the Void Waker. The Void Waker is a remake of one of RuneScape's most iconic and overpowered weapons, the Karasi Sword. It's dropped in three separate parts from the bosses and must be combined to use, and the reason it is so sought after is because of its special attack. Yes, you read that correctly. It deals guaranteed magic damage between 50 to 150% of your melee max hit. I need to get my hands on one, which means I need to go do the reworked bosses. Each boss can now be found in two separate caves, which has two separate versions. A high risk, high reward cave in multi-combat that has a higher chance of the new weapons, and a low level single combat cave that has a lower chance than new weapons, but same chance for the pets and rings. Now I have infiltrated one of RuneScape's most notorious clans in order to go to the multi caves and try and get one of the first Void Wakers in game. All right, we're jumping down, baby. We're jumping down. Fifth oh my God, what the hell? We're already doing it. It's getting one hit. Wait, what the fuck is going on right now? What the hell? Oh my God. All right, first kill. What are we getting? Okay, so it drops loot to a bunch of different people. It just gave us like seven or six different drops. Ooh, second kill just splits up a bunch of different loot. Still nothing crazy. It gives one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people loot. We were here with like a hundred people, and it's only given seven people loot. So this is the new Vedion layer and new boss. Chaotic. Definitely chaotic here with a hundred people, and similar to the old version, first you have to kill its first form, then its second form to about half HP. When the second form is half HP, it spawns a bunch of hellhounds like the old version. I assume the amount of hellhounds scale to the amount of people you're doing the boss with, so with 100 people, there's a bit of a cleanup process. There are also these lightning rods that spawn like the old version, and with 100 people spawning these rods, you're going to take a lot of damage. Alright, we're going to move on to Callisto, because it's probably easier to camp with a large squad. Here are the escape caves that we've been talking about. When you want to leave, you'll be placed in the escape caves at one of the three random locations. If someone follows you within 10 seconds, it won't be random and they'll follow you exactly where you are. But if they aren't, they'll go to a different location and you'll probably escape. So this is the cave entrance for Callisto. As you can see, it's in the old location. It looks sick as fuck, to be honest. Let's go in. All right, Callisto time. All right, let's fuck him up. Let's see how quickly we can kill him. Five, four, three, two, one. Is it already one hit? We just one hit it. Does it have another phase or anything? Nope, we just one hit it. <laughs> All right, I think we found the boss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think this is easy mode compared to Vedion. This is a lot easier. We can one hit the boss and life's good I think we're gonna stay here for a little bit. Oh Fuck just move from the spots as long as you move from the bear traps You should be fine and we're just insta killing it. Those are the little traps You just got to make sure you're not standing on them because that's the only thing that's doing damage to us right now We're killing it in three seconds pretty much. Come on. Can I even get a click on I can nice It's dead again. Literally. I only get one hit per rotation. Okay. Now I got my second hit in there. Nice. Give me us Karasi. Snapdragon seeds, limb ports, coins, nothing too crazy. We got word that another clan is in a different world up here. We gotta stop them from getting any of the pieces before us. So here I got cut out by this team, and there's a bunch of teams going around in PKN. I'd say over a hundred different clans and teams are all doing this right now. But the thing about the wilderness ecosystem is there's always a bigger fish. There's always a bigger clan. Okay, there are people selling the pieces already. I'm done with all this. I need to go get my hands on a weapon and make a PK video for you guys paying 450 mil i'm getting daylight robbery for this but hey it's worth it i'm making the video i'm making some good content for you i think it's worth it 450 mil for the void waker hill nice all right we got one of the pieces all right i think this guy has one of the other pieces i'm gonna give him 400 mil for it yep the void waker blade nice all right we have got two of the pieces nice i need one more piece so the final piece was the gem, which is dropped by Venonatus, which seems to be the hardest boss off of spawn because everyone had the other two pieces and everyone was trying to find this last final piece. Um, yeah, I paid two bill for it. That's what that's, you know, that's the price we have to pay to get out one of the first videos. So here we go. I think this might be the first crossy in the game. Let's go, PKing. 
the Karasi Sword, baby. The Karasi Sword. Oh, there it is. The Void Waker. Not actually the Karasi Sword. Let's go put this on the med. Let's go put this on the med right now. All right, it is time to test out the max hits. This is the best account I can think of for PK and on. It's 110 combat. I'm going to go PK at the South Cave. It's in level 20. I'll be able to attack a lot of people. This is a completely max 80 defense account with 99 strength. Let's see what these max hits are. I've got the B ring on. I am actually going to use the light bearer when I go into the wilderness. But I just want to see if there's any difference. 78. Are you trolling me? 78. Oh my god, with the B ring on. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, and let's see with the light bearer what the difference is there. 75. Okay, the B ring does give three max hits. Damn. Maybe I do want to bring the B ring. I don't know, but let's go. It's time to go PKing. Let's go. All right, how much are we going to be risking PKing today? Um, Let's see. Guide value. Guide risk values at two bill. Obviously, they don't know that the Karasi is worth. Well, I guess I just paid two bill for the gem. I just paid 2.8 bill for this Void Waker. So I'm actually risking 4.8 bill right now. Around five bill, you know. A little bit of chump change, I guess. I'm going PKing at the low level version of the bosses in singles at the low level caves. So there's going to be loads of people farming it there too who don't have friends or don't have teams. It's going to be super active. Obviously, if we run into any PKers, we're going to try and do it. But to be honest, I'm just trying to test this sword out. Come on, caught a TB. Nice. I need to run with him though. Come on. Drop a smite. Nice. Void Waker, come on. Oh, no way he prayed mage, bro. How does he even know? What the hell? Again? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's my first ever kill with a Void Waker. A 63. I literally just deleted that guy's life force, bro. I literally just deleted that guy's life force. Oh my god. This is exactly what I wanted, man. This is exactly what I wanted. Explainer. Catch a TB. Nice. Oh my god. I can hit this guy all the way down. Run, run, run. I can hit this guy all the way down. Oh, what? He can just go back in? Oh, that's going to be so cringe, dude. Oh, no way the Callisto can hit us. Oh, fuck. I don't want to die to Callisto, dude. That'd be AIDS. Come on. Oh, my God. I just hit him a 76. Oh, my fucking God. I just hit that guy a 76, and he drops the what the fuck. Oh, my God. Let me get out of here. Oh, my days, bro. This is only 50% spec. That guy literally just dropped the what the fuck. Please consider subscribing as it's the best thing for my channel. I'm going to be making way more videos PKing with all these weapons, so stay tuned. Five mil just like that. A B ring. Oh my god, bro. That guy had the worst Christmas. One, two, two. Catch the TB. Nice. Come on. Going for a decent surge. He's still going to hit it. This guy's crazy, dude. Come on, Karasi. 66. Another one. Just... Oh my god. Okay, then. Oh my god, bro. These guys are having the worst Christmas. Oh no. I love this weapon, bro. I'm so in love. Come on, catch untangle. Nice. Okay, we caught one. Perfect. I'm pretty sure the Venonatus can still hit him right now, too. Come on, Surges. And then we'll go we'll do the Karasi on the run. Come on. Surely. 37 on the run again. He's going to pray mage, but I'll just kill him. Surely. 67. Huh, this guy's been escaping me a couple times, but you cannot escape the Karasi. Oh, the Void Waker. Sorry, I got to call it the right weapon. I'm like a kid on a Christmas day, bro. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm having so much fun right now. 1.1 mil. Damn, that guy must have been farming for a little bit or he's just risking a lot. Bro, what the fuck is that? Profane me. He's just some guy here. No way he's gapped me. That's what I thought. I was like, what? He's just killing dragons in front of me? Like, is he trolling? Come on, dead. 48. One more. He doesn't even know to pray mage. 51. He's smited. I think the normal weapon is 51 whack. Oh my God. As if this guy gets out, dude. Bro, if, if he doesn't die. Oh my god. Okay, we killed him. I have no idea what the hell that guy was doing. I think he might have just been testing the new scepter. But Bro, 800k. That guy had 4k ether for me. TB'd. Catch the entangle. Come on, catch the entangle. Catch the entangle. Nice. Let's see what he does here. Change those prayers because I want to cross your head off. Those prayers or anything. Come on, change those prayers. Oh. Oh, he just died to a 30 dot. I actually just killed him through prayer. Oh my god, that guy's so low HP. I got to go for him, dude. Surely I catch one. There we go. Void Waker through the prayer. Fuck it. Nope. Doesn't seem to be too good. We'll bolt it. Come on. Change that prayer. You know you want to. Void Waker. Come on. Cook him. 67. Cooked in the kitchen. Come on. Caught a TB. Nice. Catch untangle, please. Oh, I got to run with him. Fuck. I think this might be a wrap now. Change that prayer. If you change that prayer from prayer range, it's going to be a wrap. I know that much. 32 from Callisto. What does the cross you have to say? 53. He's going to pray melee. 73 he just got Bodhi numbered oh my god they think i'm using melee as well because of the torvan and the infernal cape which is fair enough but unfortunately the spec is mage 470k 
I literally bought this sword less than an hour ago and these are all the kills I've got so far. I want to PK with this even more, so come tune into my stream. I'm PKing live right now for you guys. It's linked down below in the description. And if you want to see a full video PKing PKers with the new sword, let me know in the comments and I'll get that done for you.